one that I spent earlier for monies. Hey, Broly. Yeah? That corpse didn't respawn hanging. It's still up there. You when lied you, to me. Every time you cut it down, it goes back up. I guess it's close enough to its original me. spawn point that it doesn't reset. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going back up there. I don't care. Fuck it. Anyway, I'm at the, uh... The next area. Yeah, I'll meet you there in a moment. I'm not going back up there. I, I give no fucks. Although I am going to be crying for that thing later on. So remind me where it is. You have but to ask. I look kind of dap in this. I look, you look like a rider of Rohan. Mixed with a dwarf. Yeah, are you wearing the, the mirror set? No, I'm wearing the northern set. Ah. The mirror set looks fucking amazing. It does, so I... but... I don't need to use it right now. Am I summoning me, or am I summoning you, or are you summoning me? Am I summoning uh, me? You, you, can, you can lay your sign down first. We're only we only have four hollowing. How embarrassing! On my other character, yeah, I'm at like get my... fifty hollowing on my other character. Does it reduce your life? It doesn't seem to. It just makes us take so more I... damage from the boss weapons. Oh, does it? Well, that one boss weapon. Boss weapon. Right down the road. Anyway, I'm just resting at the fire so I don't get invaded while I'm waiting for your son. Yeah, I'll meet you there in a moment. I'm gonna go and get another hollowing while I'm thinking about it. Oh, I can't get another hollowing yet. No, you, okay. you need to... So I think how it works is every time you die you get hollowing points and you have to break certain tiers to unlock more um, true powers. Let me look that up real quick. Like, let me... I, I know I'm trying, I'm really trying not to look everything up, but I want to know what the... Wow, 22 the, uh, intelligence with soul great sword. Of it are. I'll fight some of these enemies, they're pretty interesting actually. Alright, so yeah, you have to break certain tiers, so it's 2, 6, 12, and 15. So these guys are highly annoying. They really don't like fire, is the thing. Provides minimal protection and at the cost of moderate humiliation. Flank shield. Yeah. That guy down there, I think he's aggroed me already. He's so far away. But he'll just throw poison at us until we get close enough, so it's fine. These guys mostly drop Shriving Stones, which is fine. I can't use my Substone. It might be a transitory area where... Um... You have to solo it. That's fucking annoying. The other thing is... Let me see if I can put mine down. No, it's totally locked here. So you actually have to wait till we get to the next area after this. Joy. The hardest part is that bridge there, because that guy will scream, and all the remaining enemies will go ape shit and charge you. Well, and they transform them, too. Do you know about the phantom here? The chest fight? Yeah, you get a pretty neat weapon from it. Yeah, okay. I was making sure you knew. Yeah, you can also get an armor set by completing that path. And there's, um, a tome here, too, for miracles. Yep. 
You want to get all the miracle tomes even if you're not doing the build. Now here's the hard part. There's so many bad guys concentrated here and in the next part. Just eliminate this guy right off the bat, please. Now Shrieky is going to get pretty mad. The Brigand Dogs. There you are, bitch. You coming? There's a guy up there in that cave that's going to get aggroed and drop down. Um, not a whole lot we can do about it either. Here he comes. I how fucking kick happy NPCs get it. It's so annoying. I hate how these guys oh, can it can break their stun lock and then do their flailing attack at you. Right? Butcher knife. Now by Which himself. I actually don't think is any better than what I'm no, it's much worse than I'm trying to even. The staff guys by themselves are the easiest enemies here, by far. They're a fucking cake. Brigand set. And Brigand twin daggers. Now this guy already knows I'm here, so we have to deal with him real quick. Yeah, bro, I got the twin daggers. What'd you say about the twin daggers? <laughs> if you want to be a dick, real quick. Real quick dick. Oh my god, please get hit by one of these attacks. Oh my god, you Scandinavian. Why is he a Scandinavian? Because I said so, basically. Yeah, basically my MO with this area is kill the two you can, run back, and then make them make them spread out and come to you. Yeah. Alright. So we're actually going to fight, before we engage those guys over there, we're going to fight a NPC boss, kind of. Oh hey, how's it going? I'm going to take this brigand axe while I wait for you. By wait for you, I mean throw fireballs at you indiscriminately. Hope you don't mind. So if we let this NPC cast Sharpen, Fuck. he'll gain a shitload of life every time it hits us, which is really annoying. Welcome to the stream. Great Corvian Scythe. Welcome to the stream. Oh, you dick. I, f I killed these guys so many times off camera and never dropped. What, the Great Corvian Scythe? Yeah. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a warning. This next area is one of the first areas that's going to affect our ending. Sweet. Alright, so I'm going to change to Mira Trousers so I can put my bow back on. Because we are going to need ranged attacks. Do you want to elaborate on how it affects our ending Why? Take these guys out one at a time. Um, basically, you just have to make sure you exhaust the dialogue of the two NPCs you're going to meet here. That's all. By the way, one other warning this next area is Invasion Fucking City. Yeah. Well, the Watchdogs Affair and Covenant covers that too, right? Alright, so 
uh, my strategy here is I'm going to aggro the enemies, I'm going to have them come over here and get stuck under the bridge, and then I'm going to do a plunging attack on them. And that's how we do. God damn it. I'm getting nicked out of nowhere. This person's not using the sword. So as long as we keep hitting this thing so such that it doesn't screech, we can actually kill it before it aggro's its allies. We have a pretty steady stream of arrows. I think we missed it there. Oh, we caught it last there second. There we go. Ooh, I think we missed this one. We caught it. I basically just want to get this really low before we have to deal with his compatriots. So there's three back there, I think. We probably won't kill it, unfortunately. But as long as we can keep juggling it in this pre screech animation. Uh, do we get it? Ooh, we, I think we got it. Ironically, if it hadn't have, like, sidestepped those couple arrows earlier, we would have actually killed it. Did not successfully complete a screech, it seems. Fuck you, bitch! Okay, there's the screech. Alright, so... Hopefully these guys... Well, that guy just jumped off the ledge, so that's handy. I killed the dark spirit in my world. Nice. God, he was such a prick. He was in the fucking Warriors of Sunlight, too. As long as we can keep these guys separate, we're in pretty good nick. Okay, missing the plunging attack was real bad, though. How did that not hit? such piss poor damage. Okay, let's see if we manipulate this guy to fall. No such luck. We did kill him though. And because this guy shoots nasty gas. Let's just do him, too. Right in the kisser. Okay, so we're almost to the next area. There is one more potential for death before we move on.
So you notice that there's a ledge here to drop down, as that person just demonstrated. There's a cave there. How does one get there? Seems pretty precarious. Oh, forsooth. There's a platform. So if we stand right here, and let's give this guy a love tap. Apparently I shot right through his ribs. And we block. And he runs off the edge, because the dogs always jump sideways before they lunge. And we'll just do it again. And he'll run up, and then he'll jump sideways. He didn't jump Who sideways this time. Brother. Just the zombie dogs. They usually uh, jump okay. sideways and go flying off the ledge. Like, it worked every single time on my practice run. Oh. That guy didn't get aggroed. That could be problematic. Hey, that's the Braille Tome. Wow. Awkward. What do we do about you? Well, we got him. Still no scythe. I'm at the next area, so... Yeah, I'm just about to get there. I'm just taking the, uh... Extra... Extra drop. Alright, while you do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of my about, what, now, 15 minutes of free rain over this area and kill some things. Alright, so now, there's nothing on the other side of the staircase, by the way. Now we get to meet two more unfortunate souls. Oh, hello. How do you do? Hello, how do you I do? I'm Anri of Astora. I'm Anri of Astora. I'm kidding, Astora. I'm kidding like you. This is Horace. That's when you have more voices, so I can be faster. Are you in search of the Lord's Are of Sunday? Is, is, is it a girl for you? Below us is the crucifixion wound. Um, no, for me, it's Beyond like the, woods, the basic Keep, knight. Home of the undead legion. That's... Further in yet, every Dark Souls. The next male Are you playing as a male or female? I am playing as a male for oh, stream. Yes. Horace. It was also Which a male. It was also a male. Um, oh. when I was playing on we Lusty well Succubus, well, though. Well, yeah, for your we personal. If you're playing, the Henri should always be the opposite of your character's gender. God fucking die, you bitch! I have the sound turned down so it doesn't make an echo on stream, but I'm just gonna say that Henri looks rather titless. Well, in the armor, you, the armor of the character models are the same for both male and female, it seems. So you won't you won't notice if they have tits or not. Anyway, um, I'll drop are my you sign. Me? I'll I'll drop my sign down since I'm at the bonfire. Damn. I was hoping you'd summon me. Well, like... I, c I could erase it if you want. I would prefer you summon me because I'm trying to save up to 20,000 souls and I'm close. So I don't want to die and lose the ones I've got since I got a pretty big buff from that asshole who I killed. Alright, well, drop it at the fire. There you go. Found it. So we're gonna get invaded like crazy. It'd be pretty funny. Thank Seems you, like party chat. Seems like the people chat. here aren't very strong. They technically shouldn't be, but they probably have like friends with high level accounts that give them end game gear that they use. 
Yeah. They just like put all their levels into one stat and then get to use like. So what do you think? Dragon testicles as weapons. Oh my god, we're wearing the exact same fucking gear. Pretty eh. much. Nice. I had to change to the Mira set so I could afford to put my bow on. It's too heavy for the I northern set. I say I can put on the northern set. Though. Fuck you, Vlad. They'll actually drop a pike occasionally. I call him Vlad. Yeah, there's like five up here. I'm gonna kill them very carefully. Because there's an item over here that we want to get. Later. Fight Knight Shard. It was, just, it was just easier to drop. Yeah. So these guys, even though they're just farmers, have a chance to drop Titanite Shards. Okay, I gotta, I gotta move. Blast. No. So I think they're drops. Oh my god. God damn it, that didn't take long. Alright, come back up here. Yeah, He's at least gonna I come can... out of the swamp, most likely, after us. Yeah, well, if we come up here, I can pick up my souls, too. Oh, there he is! He's right there! He's right there! He's right there! He's right there! I see him. He doesn't have a glow to him. No, he's wearing... Uh, rings. If you're hollow enough to get the other NPC, you can buy rings that change your appearance. That was cockballs. We traded shots, but he didn't get hit with the fire. He's trying to lure us into the swamps. So we have to deal I, with the enemies. Don't worry about it. I know. I know what he's trying to do. He's being a pretty big prick about this whole thing. I'm, try I'm going to see if I can trick him to attack me with the sword skill. Almost got him, almost got him, almost got him. No, he's, he's trying to bait you. Oh, he's, he's going to flask and he's going to come back. He's just gonna run like a bitch. He's Not sniping now. He's sniping now. I have literally all fucking day to wait. Alright, oh, he's only at half mast. Okay, shoot me. I don't give a fuck. 100% fucking block shield, bitch. You ain't gonna do anything. Go ahead, shoot me. Shoot me! Shoot me, you fuck! Nope. Oh, he's gonna keep doing his thing. I mean, I, I, yeah. I actually don't give a fuck how long this takes. As long as we kill him, I don't care. He's gonna have to keep wasting flasks, so... Let me know if he gets close. He's he's like shield teabagging, trying to get us to follow him. He thinks we're stupid, doesn't he? Okay, I think he's gonna try and do some dank snipes, like arc the arrow right over the hill. Okay, so he's either hiding right on the other side of that hill, or he's taking a really long circle around trying to flank us. Just let me know if he gets close. I'm gonna do some inventory management while I wait for his ass. Okay, there, he's coming back. <laughs> he thinks we're stupid. Like, that's what pisses me off more than anything else. Ugh. 
No, no, let him flask. Let him flask. Let him flask. He has a vulnerability to magic, so I'm just gonna keep rebuffing my magic weapon. He's eventually gonna blow through his arrows, he can only carry so many. It's a pretty bad shot sometimes, too. If we just lazily sidestep, he'll never hit us. Like, he is so fucking desperate, it's funny. Ha ha ha! Eat a fucking dick! Hell yeah, good job. There is no glory in that, like, it took us a long time to beat a guy who wasn't really that good. But, we won. Hey, we're getting better, that's what matters. Yeah, like, I've been playing this game for like, 15 hours? So I'm playing this game. For more than 15 hours. Well, what he's doing is he's making a very low level character not doing anything and then coming here to snipe players. Like, that's what a lot of PvPers do. There's a dog like over here, bro. Where you at? I'm right behind you. I'm going over here to pick Come up this idol. I know there's a bonfire there, but let's clear these guys first. They don't come back if I just touch the fire. Ow. God damn. I got shot. Don't die. die. I'm not gonna die. See, the, the problem I have with fighting fucking in, or, uh, PvP in this is they lag around so much when your sword clearly connects they don't get hit. Yeah. We need to take out these giant crabs because I think they're a guaranteed Titanite drop. The giant crabs are really fucking annoying. They are. I can solo kill one of them if I have full gear. I'm pretty drained. Like, we're not going to drop down and fight this guy, because we'll die. We're no, gonna... fuck it. Let's not deal with the crabs. Let's go deal with the fucking other assholes that are more important. Well, no, that we need to get the, uh, the pyromancy tome from in the water. We will, but we're not doing it right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this other stuff done. These guys are super annoying. You guys actually have that big of a problem, if you're using a great sword. No, it's the thing that they always tend to survive with 1 HP, and they can attack through stunlock. Like, they have one flailing attack where they jump up in the air and lose their mind. These guys will come down if we let them. We can dance if you want to. We can leave your friends behind. Your friends don't dance if they don't dance enough. No friends of mine. I thought there was a third guy up there. There's an Estus Shard. Okay, so, uh... Let's clear this keep. For the most part, and then... Do Krabos. Yeah, we gotta get the Mage too. Don't go in there yet, don't go in there yet. Why? Because there's guys out here. And if they hear their Why friends no? are having a bad time, they might, uh... Come out and play. Also, I like to pull the guys in there out here, because they line up at the door, it's really funny. 
It was actually really easy to deal with the way to deal with the assholes in that. You know it. Yeah, if you kill the guy with the lantern before he gets all up in his arse, it's only the mage that's aggressive. Oh, so mad though. Pick up this item. I've Her done this area so many fucking times. Heretic staff. Yeah, this guy's always. I, so that's mad a pretty dapper hat. It is. What's your intel at? Uh, on this character, my int is thirteen. All right, you should be fine then. What the hell? I've never had that happen. Now this this place loops back in on itself like three times. Also, if we Let's get, get the if if we get the mage tutor, we can snipe the um, sorcerers down here, which makes getting well, to the this boss is easier. But I don't I want to do the boss until we do all the crabos. This is what you, this is my, if you, how intrigued? Very well. In that much clearly, so you that in the form well. Because I Very super well, want yeah, I, uh, we will. the pyromancy tome. Because it gives us the fire orb. Did you did you get him? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, I do have Ash and Estus, so. Where's when you pop a heal, let me know. He's over here. All right. Trot over here. Like, definitely, I wouldn't name Pyromancy. If you go down there, there's the more powerful sorcerer still to come. I know. I'm fine. Alright. Oh, we got enough kills, I got my another Ashen back. So I'll just uh, throw fireballs extreme abandon. Or do you it, want to just try and go for the boss fight? Uh, no, because then we can't summon each other again. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I see your point. Oh, shit. Hold on. Well, this will be fun. No, no, just take it easy. You're mad at me first. Well, no, I fell. Oh, I haven't... Well, it's just one of those crucifix guys down there, right? Yeah, but he's a red-eyed one. It's true. The red-eyed ones are dicks. Got him. Sweet. Sorcerer's almost There's there. There's an item down here, too. Yeah, um, it's actually a pretty important item. It's the sorcerer's set and the ring, I think. Alright, well, I dropped the... Uh, Sorcerer Bro. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab the item at the stairs, so I'll have to go back around and pick it up. Then I'll drop down to where you are, so we can meet up. But there is an item here on the stairs, I can't remember what it is. Blue bug pellets, not that big of a deal. I'm itching the bottom of my foot. Ember, Sorcerers, and Sage Ring. Yep. So what I think we should do then is come up. I want to go deal with those other assholes real quick after we do this. Yeah. So let, let's fully clear right. this keep first. 
It's a slow you draw fire here. real quick. I got him. Where'd the mage go? I don't know. It's supposed okay. to be mage. I just did him so fucking dirty. Oh my god, that's so dirty. He fucking fell down. I plunging attack, took off three fourths of his life, and he was getting up. I backstabbed him. All right, so we have to drop off here to get an item. It is a ring of sacrifice. I'm actually going to put um, one of these rings on because I'm pretty close. Pretty close uh, to what? I'm at 12,669. I'm at 15,000. Are you yeah, saving up for the, for the key as well? I might as well. We're pretty close. Okay. Are we going to go fight these assholes over here? Yeah, but I'm doing it this way so I can grab right. this item. Alright, these guys are going to be fucking annoying. Um, yeah, well, wait, we'll pull the first guy. Uh, it's very hard to pull only one of them. No, watch. After a few seconds, the other guy will auto-aggro. But if we wait until sword guy comes to us, we can get a couple free hits. But That's the this, sword I want. Yeah, just remember this guy does circle slash as a special. Other guys should be engaging, like, basically now. One down. And he dropped the Exile Greatsword. Best weapon in the game, IMO. Alright, I have a couple casts left for this guy. This guy will heal twice. But we can interrupt his miracle. The other guy is supposed to heal too, though, remember. Oh, you got a backstab on him. Nice. Okay, now back off, because he can do a spinning attack when he gets up. I, I, my great sword is so much stagger that he doesn't get the chance to. He might be bleeding now too. He's dead as fuck. All right, uh, now the pyromancy tomes right over here. Though they don't come back, so it doesn't really matter if we get the uh, bonfire here or not. I'm gonna grab this item though. Two more homeward bones. I'm following your lead. I think this is all we can do. That shows yeah. us there's an item down there to get. Will you despawn if I grab this bonfire? Um, If you rest, I might. Okay, I'm just going to activate it. Because technically... I'm not sure, though. Well, I think if I go through that door, you'll despawn. Because that's a zone change. I can walk to the door just fine. I watch. Uh, well, okay, but that's not. I want to get this tome first. Fair and keep. I mean, I can walk through there just fine. Okay, so as long as we don't kill the crystal sage, we can just do what we want here. Well, remember, we also have the uh, the fucking abyss watchers to kill too. Well, that's in the Farron area. Separate boss. Uh, there was another item. Ah, here it is. Fallen oh. Knight set. Can I equip this Fallen Knight set right now? Because I would really like to. You know what the real bitch about this area is, though? The second you touch the water, the crabs start after you. Yeah. Um. Okay, I can wear it. Yep. I just have to lose there the ring. Is. Yeah, yeah this that's is not the... my ring. Yeah, it This is the crab we need to kill to safely get the tome. Alright, ready? Hold on, I'm gonna kill these little crabs. Because it pisses the big one off. <laughs> Fuck. 
All right, back up, back up. Abort, abort, abort. Yep. This is an NPC summon, right? Um, I don't know if it's an NPC summon. It might be. That's says, from over here, though. It says yellow finger. Heal up if you got it. I don't... Um, yeah. I don't see him, though. Yeah, I'm seeing if they're coming from the back. This is a pretty bad spot to get invaded because there's so many entrances. But also... Um, While we're invaded by this asshole, we can't get invaded by anybody else. Yeah. Also, this sets daft as fuck for someone who's going to be next Lord of Darkness. There, 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 there. Yeah, this is an NPC, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Because they suck so bad. Well, I, it's also an NPC because my hits are actually landing effectively. Sweet. Um, I did. I never fought that in my off camera because I did this whole area unkindled. What'd you get? Um, I I got uh, a weapon and the stupid hat. The dildo hat. Yeah. Just go okay. after the fucking item. Well, the thing is, the water gets deeper over there, so you can't move very I well. Know. Just get the item so we can get the fuck out of here. I'll watch for the crab. Because he's not—he's doing a patrol route. He's not back yet. Okay. Uh, there's conjurators and great swamp. Ah, but there's more items. Like the, all those are titanite, and there's a, there's another area over there that has. You know what? We have to. We have to go all the way over this way. Follow the wall. Stay, stay close. Um, this is where the coal is. You can't backstab these guys, remember? That's why I'm two-handing. Also, there's this door here that only opens from the other side, but I think you have to go into the swamp to do it. What kind of knife is this? Silver. Okay. I'm dead. I kind of figured that would happen once we got to him. On the upside, I did kill him. And I'm at 19,205. Yeah, I'm at 19,205 as well. And I have some souls that I can eat. Here's a cell sword yeah, head back. set. Well, no, I'm going to get the coal first. Well, get the coal and then head back. I'm going to head back and get the key. Because that key is drastically important. And I want you to save some time in the stream to show that area off. Yeah, how about I do that next? Because we have to redo this whole area to get to the bosses. There's the fair and coal, which we could see through there. Unfortunately, we can't unlock that for a shortcut, which is annoying. And I don't personally know how to open that, but if we look over here, we can see there's a whole sprawling area. So you must have to go through the literal swamp and come up backwards through it. All right, I have 20,005. So we're going to go and get the key. Um, I'll also try and show off the clip before I use the key. Because we don't necessarily... Oh, and here's McFancy Pants up here. Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? Of the I am serious with the sunless realm, the former servant of Vandy. I doubt we've much to gain but I'm too cool for you, so fuck off. Gaining it? Basically. Ah. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna get the tower key. Ashen. If I can do the clip, we basically don't need the key, but I probably No, you still gonna... need the key. There's stuff up there you have to ask. Oh, I would... 
Like he's not I'm elite. We are not following up in the Hollow Club yet. Be safe. I'm pretty sure if you can make that clip, you can get into the rafters and everything without it. Ah, oh, well, I still like to buy the key. It's good to have. Yeah, well, if you screw up, then it just works. So, the, the trick here is you can get in the tree here. It's really finicky, but it, you can get into the tree and then just jump in. Remember to level Vigor to 27 by soul level 40. Also, there's an undead bone shard in the undead settlement that you may have missed. We definitely missed it, and I said that I've probably missed about three. Why did, I, why did you need to level up Vigor that quickly? Anyway, um, I, I didn't practice this, so you can get into this tree if you fart around, and then jump across that gap and get on top, but it's fine. Why do you need to level um, Vigor so much? Look, there's one Go comment, ahead. and oh. that's I read the comment. Oh, okay. Well, for the person who commented, why the high vigor, man? I'm just curious. Because with Havel's ring, you really don't need to level vigor all that terribly much. I mean, granted, you have to wear the ring, but... Welcome to the stream, by the way. Vigor 27 is a must if you want to fend off invaders, but Vigor only gives you, um, equip weight, equip, uh, equip rate, uh, yeah, equip weight, right? I mean, yeah, you can equip more stuff with it, but... Keep in mind that we're also largely doing it co-op. So it's not... Oh, okay. Attribute governing physical defense, though this is also affected by other attributes, also governs maximum equip load and poison resistance. So yeah, it gives you a little more physical defense to have Vigor up that high, but... Well, it, yeah, but it's, natu it's natural Knight defense at that point. You. Thanks, mate, and join the stream. Well, you one-shotted me also because I was being a fucking moron and I got myself cornered. Ordinarily, you... I have no problem killing those assholes. You were being a bit of twat. Like, they're not usually a problem for me. Actually, on my personal playthrough, I only have Vigor at 18, but... They don't one-shot me, and also I'm able to pretty easily just straight-up backstab them to death with the uh, Exile Greatsword. Oh, that's some spooky out here. But I do definitely agree, having a high vitality is awesome, especially since, you know, all the stuff we usually want to equip, your your bow and all that fun stuff, especially when you get the great bow. I guess I just don't usually find it a priority. That's just me, though. Oh, uh, we got some visions of Pointless out here. I mean, hell, sure. the sword I use requires 26 fucking strength and 18 dex to use, I think. Surely, or 18 or 16 dex. there'll be something over here so far out of the way, eventually. Right. Did you go up into the tower to get the soul yet? I'm, uh, working my way up. Working your way downtown? Firekeeper soul. I missed. I'm dead. Now, on that bridge, I am an invader on my SL35 build. I have 27 bigger minimum for hit points. At low level vitality also helps. Yeah, I'll definitely agree with that. If you're doing low-level invasions or fighting like that, then definitely yes. But for defending from them, if you have extra people and you're part of the Sentinels, I don't... I don't know. It's kind of a finicky question. Also, keep I in mind, this is, my, completely wrong. this is my first playthrough, so I'm not too concerned about setting up invasions either. Well, and when I personally play, I usually run solo anyways and I play offline. I find invasions to be really fucking annoying, and I just don't like dealing with them. So I'm willing to play offline and lose the ability to call co-op partners in exchange for not being invaded 
Infuse your weapon raw to reinforcement plus six is actually often better than the sharp heavy refined infusions. Yeah, actually, I'll give you that. Looks um, you like get a massive no damage bonus here. for losing your scaling. Although I'm yeah. thinking we're actually going to go past plus six, so I mean it's all a matter of personal preference. Really. Well, yeah, but you could, you could do it, fucking raw, and then when you have the once you get to six, yeah, when you have the resources, you can switch it over. Because yeah. having a flat damage boost, no scaling, is pretty handy. Well, yeah, I definitely can agree with that. Bet you thought I was going to say pretty good. <laughs> right. No, going down the bridge, if you make that jump, you can see an area to jump to. You get the firekeeper's clothes there. And then an S to string at the very bottom. Oh, you tit. That's also an easy way to backstab the swordsman. Twinkling Titanite. I missed anything down here. Exactly. I was chasing yeah. Elizarda. Yeah, so... You get the damage boost, and then you get good, and then you make it how you actually want your character build. Yeah, I just got my Titanite slab on my personal build, so I'm I'm the Exile Greatsword is getting plus ten. I don't even care. The thing is amazing, and it looks really good. Like it's probably my favorite weapon in Dark Souls, um, followed by the Black Knight's Greatsword. Other the downside in, in there is in Fashion Souls. Fashion Souls, funny. No, on the Black Knight's Greatsword, the problem is it eats Twinkling Titanite like mad to upgrade it though. I didn't find the Firekeeper's clothing. You have to go back up uh, go back up onto the bridge in the tower. Yeah. And if you go back onto that bridge, um, if you look down, coming in on the left side, you can drop down onto some coffins, and you find it there. Oh, you're fine. Those guys are actually pretty fucking helpful. You can trade items with them for other items, and they can give you some really awesome stuff. You have to go onto the roof, though, I think. They'll just talk to you there, but to trade items, you have to go on the roof. Oh my god. Whew. Hidden path ahead? I doubt it. Holy Power crap. Curved great sword in the Ring City. Yeah, I heard about that. I don't the first have time ever the we weren't to lied to. Yeah, right? But no, I heard about that weapon. It looks amazing. I've never gotten the chance to try it since this is my first run with the DLC. But I'm definitely really excited for it. There's the Serpent Ring. It's like, probably I want to put on. Pretty much essential, that ring is. But then I have to lose something. Uh, take off Ring of Sacrifice, because I made it. Yeah, I've already blown through all three of my rings of sacrifice on my personal build. They're worth 2,000 souls, so I kind of just <laughs> keep them in case I need to, to buy. They're, they're like extra bank. Right. <laughs> I don't even really know what I want to go for yet. Well, remember me? You're making a few years and kill. He has been a... Oh, we got the lift chamber key as well. Longer, eyes. wider, nearly as much damage as Exile, but much better weapon art. Your scale's awesome on Dark Souls, definitely better weapon. Kill, he has been... I can see. Okay. Alright, I'll take a quick minute and see if I can find the drop down of which you speak. I'm up trading with the birds. And then I got the lift key. I think that's for the tower the swordsman was guarding. Yeah. Okay, so on the bridge, I drop down onto the roof and kick the ladder down. So you're saying it's a different drop down than that one? Yeah. Where else do you drop down besides onto that roof, though? Um, let me look at yours. Let me look at the stream. No, go back into the other bridge. Wrong place. Oh, like, God. inside the tower, that little bridge area. Like, 
the, yeah, the inside one... the tower. Okay, inside this tower. Yeah, inside of that one. Yes. Okay, so this is the this is the bridge. Yeah, look down to the left. Oh fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wrong, wrong item. You actually missed it. It's across from you. Yeah, but I still found one. No, I'm just saying, yeah, you see it. You just saw it. I saw it. But that's the other item. That's the, the S firekeeper's clothes. That's just wang. That's just wang. Well, I'll right. go I'll go back around and do it proper then. Oh yeah, I remember now how to get the mask. Pardon me. Screw those guys for old time's sake. Also, on uh, Nazgul Ragmar, I'm uh, glad you're participating in chat. It's really yeah, nice right? to hear feedback from people on our game. Yeah, definitely. I need to go get a prism stone real quick. Yeah, make sure you pick up a prism stone before you go up to do the trading, because you can trade a prism stone for a twinkling titanite. Which is ridiculous since a prism stone is like what, ten souls? Something like that. That's also where you get the the Lucia Tell mask, because I just got it. Estus Shod. Oh, slut balkers. Slut balkers. I missed it by a little baby toe. Little baby toe. Yeah, I'm glad this chest wasn't a fucking mimic. While I wait for the game to go through its loading wall thing. Oh, I. Fucking then show me. Um. Grab some vigor with our free level. Be safe. Vigor. Also, give the firekeeper soul to the firekeeper. Cool. Um. So we've had people offer to drop us stuff before, and because it's our first playthrough, we've been turning them down because you want to feel the. The authentic experience. Home, yeah, we had one guy offer to drop us how many fucking souls it was? It was like 70 ridiculous. million. Yeah, it's like, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I get the advantage, and I definitely thank you for it. It's just, it would ruin the integrity of the run. Like, when, when we fail, let us fail. When we struggle, let us struggle. It's all it's all important to see. Good content. Well, it... it like, I've, I haven't played the game before, so I want to make sure that I don't coast through it too easily. I mean, Dark Souls is supposed to, supposed to be not as punishing as people make it out to be, but definitely difficult. Yeah, like, Dark Souls isn't a hard game, per se. There is difficulty, but it's not hard, it's fair. It's very intense, I guess would be the word for it. Did you grab your prism stone? No, I, I all my money's up here. Oh. Oh yeah, she died. I respect that and agree, very cool. Well, thank you for that. The other guy didn't react that well to it. Well, I to be fair, I think the other guy was actually just a ganker anyway. He may have been. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the protocol is for leaving, like, souls or something. I know how items work, but I didn't know you could leave souls for people. Oh, why? I, I made it, though. Yeah. Getting that set of item or the, that little item set there is really annoying. I've done it, like, several times, so it's not hard. But the first couple times you do it, you just, like, sit there and want to throw your controller to Uranus. It's not as bad as Bloodborne, though. Bloodborne is fucking rough. The blood... like, Bloodborne's a pretty difficult game. The No, the Bloodborne jump that you have to do to get down that one tower. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember that shit. Yeah, the That was fucking annoying. The the old hunter's workshop jump is garbage. I you know what? It probably won't do anything. I'm just gonna take like all my gear off for this jump. <laughs> now I'm heading up to pump around to sell some or uh, give them some more stuff. So leave them a prism stone. And now, twinkling tight. Now there's absolutely no way that I'm not getting the most movement out of my character. Yeah, right. Naked bastard. Alright, where is this trade? What else can I trade for? Also, let's let's look upon my beautiful visage for the first time since character creation. Right. <laughs> get your homeward bone to get the iron bracelets. Oh no. Oh, I bang my chin. Don't do that. That sounds painful. If only I could pick up the item with my mouth. <laughs> well, it's a bunch of clothing, so I mean. Well, the the character that my character is based on once took a demon's thong off with his teeth. Fair enough. I'll try rolling. Um, I do get quite a bit of distance out of it. Is my back hairy as shit? Narsty. I think it's because I rolled that my back got dirty and it looks like awful back hair. Oh god. How'd you get off the island? <laughs> With rope made from my back hair. <laughs> oh no. I forgot about that. What a large leather shield? I oh I no, it just banged my chin twice when I rolled. <laughs> Oh. You put banging your chin on things, my friend. It oh. Sounds painful. I, I'm doing it for the completion, not because I actually want it. When, when we ever play games, I like to show off... Oh, I'm, I'm looking real rough right now. I might get another level. <laughs> yeah, it's but, a good way to level that, too. Just keep killing yourself. But, um... Whether it was Bloodborne or whether it was Neo, we always went out of our way to show as many things as we possibly could, even if we didn't really want it, just so people yeah, could right? see where it was, if they happened to have not played it yet. Because we always play games, even if it's last year's news, as if our audience has not played it, so we try and show as much as we can. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of been my experience with Deus Ex Mankind Divided. That's my uh, Saturday game. And playing through that, um, I know everyone and their brother who cares about it has played it by now, but I'm trying to show off as much as I can. Um, I'm not the best at it, I'm not using a guide for it, I'm just playing through kind of sight unseen since I haven't really played all of it. I felt close that and time. And I'm also doing the same thing with Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain on Wednesdays, which I've, which I've pretty much beaten, but I'm doing literally everything again just because people want to see it. Yeah, that so we're... some rather... So we're, we're not trying to uh, get the Firekeeper set, we're actually power leveling our uh, darkness. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that also includes doing some rather painful FOB missions in Metal Gear, which, yeah, some of them have been ridiculous. Like, you remember the, the all-heavy one, right, bearer. brother? Yeah. Well, this one they have now uh, is not only all-heavy, but I it's bearer. also, but they I all bearer. have lethal instead of sleeping stuff. Okay, so now we've maxed out Dingle Dork there. He's gonna die next time we see him. Yeah, I might as well get the free levels from Yule. There's no reason not to, especially since we're at the Sorcerer's uh, guy. Yeah, the Quiet storyline's pretty good, especially the extra stuff they subsequently added, where you could get Quiet yeah, back. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that since she is my favorite companion. I also have the other outfit for her too, which I just think looks better. I wonder if they sell meat here. I'm a little bit skin and bones. Oh god. But uh... I, so I'm going to try this jump two more times, and then I think I'm going to end the stream.
Um, I'll just be in Firelink. I might put my gear back on between streams. Draw out two strength. I have Hollowing of three. Oh no! That was that was off. <laughs> I know, right? That was real bad. Champion of Ash. Yes. Um, on my off-camera run, where I'm... Like, okay, so I have two characters right now. I have the one I play on stream, and I have one off-camera that I keep just slightly ahead of this one, so I can kind of know where things are. I didn't do this on my other characters, so that's why I'm having trouble with it. But um, I got to the next boss on my other character, so I could try and practice it a bit, because... No one likes to see you fight a boss for two hours, maybe thirty minutes though. Yeah, I've got I've got my personal run as well that I've been playing on, and basically I am actually at the profane capital, which is further than I've ever gotten in Dark Souls Three. Oh, and for the record, if you continue watching the uh, the stream, we are going for the uh, the usurpation ending. Um, I know how the ending goes. He doesn't, so I've been kind of keeping him in the dark about it since he prefers it that way. Yeah, so, so I'm. I'm just... Mostly blind. I play one area ahead, and he knows what's going on, so he steers me in the right direction. Yeah, yeah I, I just, like, um, when we got to the um, Road of Sacrifice, like the talking to Henri thing, I just warn him whenever there's something coming up that he has to do. Aside from that, I just let him do whatever. We did the same thing with Bloodborne, and it worked out well. I once saw someone fight Nameless King for four hours. Hey, Nazgul. Nameless King can be a fucking bitch. Nameless King, though, is entertaining enough to watch for four hours. Like, Fair no enough. no one wants to see the Crystal Sage for two hours, though. Right. Yeah, and if you want to keep up with us, definitely feel free to sub. I mean, we stream pretty much every week on the dot, unless something serious comes up. So, yeah, we're really so... playing this, I... Th we're 10 p.m. Eastern until midnight or a little bit over, depending on what we feel like. But it's always 10 start. Um, follow us if you enjoy it. We we appreciate your tips. More experienced players yeah, are definitely. always welcome. Because there's been a lot of stuff you've mentioned this stream that I that I didn't even know. Like the thing about the weapon Yuria sells. I've never done this ending, so I've never actually gotten the chance to talk to her. So I didn't even know about it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 12,000 <laughs> souls, though. Yeah, I feel like the um, the same goes for the gargoyles in the profane capital. Anything that flies or does a lot of jumping, forget about it. The camera just does what it wants. Or like um, the asshole we had to fight in Bloodborne on top of the, the castle. Uh, what was his name? I don't even know anymore. You know what I'm talking about, right, brother? I, I think I know who you're for talking about. For the optional area, we spent like two streams in. Yeah. That guy was a fight against the ca camera, too. I, th I think one of the worst <laughs> right? fights against the camera was like, what was it, the One Reborn or something? It was like the big carcass monster, because he had three different oh, target gosh. points, and he kept changing which ones were vulnerable. We don't talk about that. It was really easy boss, though. Just the first time we fought it, we shit the bed. Yeah, okay. right? We were having a good conversation, but legitimately. I'm going to have to end this shortly. And we ended it with a success. There you go. Where's awesome. the emote button? Oh, there we are. <laughs> Jumping for joy makes you fall off the coffin and almost die. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I'll get dressed before we end it, because this is uncouth. Yeah, right? I know I could just hit the... You should throw on the button. set, just to show it off. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll wear the set. Oh, I, I, I look like an uh, old lady with leprosy. It's great. <laughs> Ain't it great? 
Yeah. All right. Well, so thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed watching this and you're not following me on Twitch already, uh, please help me out. Uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, which uh, the, the VODs do go up on YouTube eventually, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you want to know when I post. Until next time. Bye now. Awesome.